my name is Laura, I'm an artist, and I'm going to show you how to make a clay horned owl. What you'll need is clay um, of any sort, whatever you want to use. Um, so what you're going to want to do is make um, the oval shape that it is the owl's body. All right, and there's the base of my owl's body. So the horned owl has these big feather sort of eyebrow things. Um, and what we're going to do for that is build out a little bit so that we don't have to indent it. That's one owl eyebrow. I'm going to flatten the head. The good thing is that if you flatten the head a little bit in the process of smoothing it down, that's okay because they have flat heads anyway, and you're going to have to flatten it down. Okay. Great. Now we're going to do the other side, smoothing it down into both sides so that it can merge and be neat and uh, safe. All right, so there we go. Now we have two eyebrows, which look like wings coming, <laughs> coming off of the owl's head. And now we're going to give the owl eyes. And what I'm using is um, this rounded tool. You can use whatever you've got, really, uh, to poke sort of circles into the owl's head. Um, what I'm going to do is grab a, a piece of white clay for this and make little balls out of it to put in the eyes. You can also use black and paint it. And now I'm going to give it uh, little pupils as well. And now, of course, what our owl needs is a beak. So how we're going to make a beak is we're going to pinch a little piece of clay off. And roll it out into a bit of a ball. And then um, the beak is sort of like a cylinder shape. This part, we should score. What scoring is, is cutting little lines into the back of both sides of your clay, um, the connecting piece and what it's connecting to, uh, so that it will attach better and not fall off. And there it is connected. And now what you can do is just embellish it a little bit. I'm going to lay this, feet, this piece flat and then cut out some feathers just uh, like a long rectangle that's, well, not really a rectangle, it's taller on one side, or wider on one side than the other, and it's got ridges at the bottom so that it looks like feathers. And then that, I'm going to connect on the back, smoothing it in as best you can. I'm Laura, and that is how you make a clay horned owl. Thanks for watching.